2% of the world's population has not had an adequate witness of the gospel message of Jesus Christ. Most have never heard of Jesus or even met a Christian. Many of this 40% live in Eurasia. The vast region known as Eurasia is home to millions of people spread across countless miles. With harsh climates that range from intense heat in North Africa to biting cold in the frozen tundra of Eastern Europe, life here is challenging. Men and women are sent by God each day to go to these extremes in order to fulfill His calling on their lives. Facing opposition and resistance to the gospel, their task isn't an easy one. Deep-rooted tradition and pagan religions make the task of planting churches extremely difficult. Some of these places where we're planting the church, it, it just doesn't happen unless God shows up. I think we have great plans, we have great people, we have good strategy, but bottom line is if God doesn't do something in these places, nothing's gonna happen. We kind of approach it like we're gonna do our part, we're gonna do the best we can, and then God has to be there, He has to show up. In order to take the gospel to the unreached regions of Eurasia, a new approach is being taken to plant churches in areas that have been resistant in the past. A lot of these countries, you know, there is no church, zero. There's a handful of believers. So this is, this is really pioneer missionary work. Armed with a pioneer mentality and a willingness to do whatever it takes, teams of church planters are going into unreached areas to preach the good news and establish the church. When we do our thing and we obey the Lord, and we get people on the ground and do what we should be doing as Christian workers, then God does His part and does the rest and does the parts that we can't do. Nearly 400 workers in 43 countries across Eurasia are spending their lives on behalf of the gospel. In order to continue the work that God has called them to do, we must remember to pray for them with a fervency and an intensity that will sustain them through these challenges. We need prayer because we're launching people into some of the most challenging, difficult, sometimes dangerous places in the world. And uh, these are people that are willing to go and live and die for Jesus. CLC, our priority as a church is to take the message of hope everywhere we go to everyone we meet. While we may not be able to go to places like Eurasia as missionaries, we're able to send and support those who can, which is why we support missionaries like Ken and Tiffany Belbin, Tyler and Rebecca Schultz, and Vasily Vojrovich, who are currently serving as missionaries in Eurasia. When we support these missionaries, we're sending the light of the gospel to places that are dark and to many that are without hope. Because let's face it, true and lasting hope cannot be found in anything outside of Jesus Christ. Thank you, CLC. As a kingdom builder, you're enabling true hope to go forth right here at home, but also around the world.